What are we talking about? Well, we're talking about mullets, shell suits, shoulder pads, brick phones, and the verjazzle, of course. So what are the fashions, hair, and beauty styles we hope never make a comeback? Well, Towie's Lauren Pope has just turned 30, so what style skeletons does she have in her closet? I wonder. Well, I'm happy to say she joins us now. Hello, Lauren. Hello. Hello. Well, first of all, happy birthday. Thank you. How did you celebrate? I went to Dubai for a few days, and then um, I had a massive party in London. Looking at our well, pretty embarrassing style fashions of the last 30 years, can you tell us a bit more about this? Well, as I've just turned 30, and my mobile phones are actually 30 as well this year, so they came to me for us to kind of go over the embarrassment fashions and technologies of the last 30 years. All right, well, big drum roll here. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> what have been your biggest fashion and style embarrassments mm, of the last 30 years? Maybe a bit of double denim, maybe been chucked in there. I was known for a bit of sun in. Do you remember that? We used to spray into your hair and oh, you'd go yeah. in the sun, it would go a horrific shade of yellow. Shell suits. Yeah, guilty fire yep. hazards, really, yep. aren't they? I had they a made such one. a lot of noise, didn't they? This is it, yeah, you'd rustle. You'd yeah. hear people coming <laughs> just because they were rustling along. Yeah. Yeah, and shoulder pads, did you go for those? Yeah, but they've totally made a comeback, haven't they? Well, structured shoulders are in. Oh dear. Don't know about that. Don't, don't know if the shell suit will ever come back, though. <laughs> now, of course, you have done some research uh, across the lands. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us a bit more about that and what were the nation's biggest fashion regrets? Well, top m most of all, I would say, was the shell suit and the mullet. I can't say I ever was guilty of a mullet, but I know a lot of you men probably were. A pun mullet whilst wearing a shell suit. Ouch. Couldn't get any better than that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one for people to send their photos yeah. in. Yeah. We know you're out there. Or anybody in double denim, or anybody that took their jumper into their jeans. Well, I remember when I got a Walkman, and I remember thinking how amazing it was to be able to put a CD in a Walkman. Before it was all like tapes, wasn't it? So, and then um, I remember the headphones, that, like obviously now people wear big headphones, but then, and then you've got the little headphones that go in your ears. Like back then, everything was just like, wow. Massive brick phones. Now they're like paper. <laughs> I love the CD one though, because of course they were reserved for hi fi's, weren't they? Everybody? Yeah. You've got a CD in your pocket and it's playing. But you have to be really careful though. Do you remember if you press the top too much, the CD would just stop? <laughs> you have to literally just hold it straight in your hand. You couldn't really move with it. I always wonder what else is going to end up in the phone because, you know, TVs now are on your phone. I watched a film recently and their phone was in their hand. They would put their hand to the ear like it, it, it was like the future. I reckon that's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be like a little chip in your hand. That'll be your phone. It would be awesome, wouldn't it? I was going to ask you what you think the future of fashion and technology holds, you know, sort of 10, 20, 30 years time. Well, fashion wise, it'd probably be what we're wearing now. Everything has its time, doesn't it? It all goes round in a circle. Well, listen, I could talk about this all day because it's such a fun subject. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Of course, Verjazzle. What a word. Some listeners might have to go and Google that to find out what it is. I suppose. Oh, I think they might be in for a shock. <laughs> Fashion. Gotta love it. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.